Many people on a keto, carnivore, or low-carb diet struggle with mineral balance or dehydration. Stay tuned to find out why and how I fix this for myself. Welcome back, my friends. My name is Sarah. I am known as Carnivore Yogi. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on today's video. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about mineral balance and hydration, especially when following a keto, carnivore, or low-carb diet. Now, yes, when we do these ways of eating, it is a little bit more difficult to stay on top of your hydration. But the types of problems that I experience and that I have seen with people don't equate to what I'm understanding scientifically about doing these diets. Yes, we do hold on to a little bit less water, but the severe dehydration issues should not be happening. So today I actually have a shorter snippet of a long interview I did with a PhD, Tracy Dews, who's also a hydration expert, that's gonna go into a little bit more about the water inside of your body, how we lose that water, and how we can replenish that water. And honestly, I have worked very hard over the last year on this piece for myself. I'm actually considering doing a webinar in June just about this topic. So if you would like a hydration webinar, let me know in the comments below, type hydration, and I'll go ahead and start working on that. And before I jump into this short little interview, I wanna mention a couple things. My three-day circadian kickstart is still 50% off for a couple more weeks. If you are looking to reset your circadian rhythms and do some of the things that Tracy and I talk about in this video to help your hydration status, trust me, this actually does correlate to your hydration, then check out that short little course. It's linked in the show notes for you guys and it is still 50% off for a couple more weeks. The second thing is I am doing a group coaching 21 day leptin reset for anybody who is having trouble losing weight. They are stuck, they are stalled out and they're tired of being told calories in, calories out. Your body is this calculator or car type of a machine. I'm actually going to help people get to the root cause and we're gonna work on the hydration piece as well. I actually have several modules within the course. It's a 21 day course where we deal specifically with this topic of hydration, the water that is inside of your body. And here's the thing that I think is really confusing to people. It's not about drinking that gallon of water a day. In fact, I really don't recommend that anyone drink a gallon of water a day. It's about the cell's ability to hold those minerals. And so again, we'll get into that in the short little snippet of this interview today, a little bit more about how that process works. But in my course, I am hoping to help everyone understand and truly grasp how the cell maintains that health so it can hold on to that optimal hydration. And yes, occasionally we do need to add some supplementation. However, we should not be so heavily dependent upon those. Okay, so yes, this is a little different than what a lot of other people are gonna say about hydration. I do think that some supplements can be helpful but we don't want that to be the be all end all and we shouldn't have to be chasing those down constantly, which is something I did for a lot of my life, which is kind of chasing down. And especially when I was carnivore keto in order to avoid leg cramps, in order to avoid trouble sleeping, in order to avoid things like hair loss, which I never experienced, but a lot of people do. This is typically a hydration issue. It's an issue of the cell being able to hold on to those minerals. So again, if you're interested in getting some coaching on this, I have a 21 day coaching group that starts on June the 1st, and that link is in the information section, or my three day circadian kickstart is a great way to start. This interview also, it's a short snippet, the full version I will be putting out this weekend here on YouTube, but I'm also going to put in the show notes for you guys the link to the full episode if you want to listen to it today over on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast. So that'll be in the show notes as well. As always, leave me a comment or a question if you have one down there in the comment section, especially if you want me to design that entire hydration webinar. All right, guys, enjoy this little snippet, and I will talk with you again uh, soon. Bye. You keep on bringing up Gerald Pollack, which I know, and I've read his book, and um, 
good friend of mine has interviewed him. I love his work, but I think a lot of people don't really understand um, this whole fourth phase of water thing and, and the water inside of our body and how we deplete that because people will say stuff like, oh, um, stress will cause you to lose water, but they don't talk about like, what is that? And how do we counteract that? So what, what would you say some kind of easy solutions for that type of thing would be? Well, first of all, I think to understand a little bit of what fourth phase water is. So Gerald Pollack, the researcher at the University of Washington discovered that, well, first of all, when we're drinking water, we've been taught that we're drinking H2O. That is a very small part of the story because we're drinking so many different molecules that are beyond H2O. Uh, we're drinking, for example, deuterium, D2O, HDO, H2O. Um, and our body is taking those molecules of H2O and it's converting it into H3O2 within the cell. And your body's using a lot of energy to do that. It's making this conversion because all of the water within your cell needs to be structured. That's really important because this, this molecular structure, H3O2, isn't like hexagonal sheet-like structures and it's holding information. It's more of a gelatinous structure. It's not liquid, it's not vapor, it's not solid. It's fourth phase and fourth phase is like a gel-like structure. And that gel-like structure within the cell is what is allowing our cells to communicate. If there's this charge potential inside of it, it's like it has the, the information and the charge and everything it needs for the cells to communicate. Like your cell phone, you have to plug it in in order for it to stay charged. Our bodies need our personal cells to be charged. And if they're not, the cells can't talk to each other. If the cells are not communicating properly, then they're not gonna know what to do. They have this innate intelligence, they know exactly what to do, but if they can't communicate, they're not gonna be able to be like, oh, that cell needs to go into apoptosis because this cell we don't <laughs> have around anymore. Let's not replicate this cell because this one's not healthy or they know, but yes. if they can't communicate, they can't do their job. So then we get sick and unhealthy cells. Um, and when we use that volt, we lose that voltage, that charge. If I wasn't charging my cell phone, I wouldn't be able to turn it on. It eventually right. wouldn't give me information. If we're losing that charge in our bodies, we start to degrade very quickly. So we wanna make sure that the water inside of our cells is fourth phase and that fourth phase water, there's a lot of things that contribute to that. One of them is light, um, infrared energy. Our bodies are already and have this infrared energy that's, that's doing that. So if you didn't go into the sun for a while, you would still be converting it, but you need light. You need sunlight. We are light beings. And that photonic, um, that spectrum of light, full spectrum is feeding our cells this nutrition. So it's this, this energy, this voltage, we want our cells to have that. And the way we lose it can be non-native electromagnetic frequencies, stress, negative thoughts, not connecting to the earth and charging our cells with the earth's um, energy, um, not getting enough sunlight, not getting good water. I have on my um, page, my Instagram page, nine pillars of health. I, I wrote out these pillars because I'm like, these are the ones that I feel are the, the most important that if you're missing any of them, you're not going to be healthy. You can be taking all the supplements, you could be doing all the things, but if you're missing one of these pillars, your health is going to be compromised. Yeah. And there, I don't know if I can remember all of them, but I know one of them is sunlight. One of them is grounding, obviously hydration. What are the other ones? So there's movement. Um, <laughs> I, yes. Movement, movement. They've studied that in order for your tissues to get hydrated and yes. fascia has these like little water droplets on it. So the, the water needs to move and get inside your fascia and all around. 
because there can be dehydrated parts of your body, yeah. hydrated tissue. Think about your joints as like sponges. You know, they need that hydration. They need to be juicy and lubricated. And so we want to move them. Like even my fingers, I'm like constantly like stretching, moving yeah. every part of my body, my ankles, your neck, every joint, you want to be moving it. Um, and in different ways too. Like you don't want to yeah. just be doing that same direction. You want to move it in different directions. But there's a uh, hydration, nutrition, sunlight, grounding, um, movement, creative playtime. I say we want to like have creative playtime because that's getting us excited. When we get into our creative juices, we're like the brain's moving. We get we can rest and restore. Um, connected community. We need community. We need hugs. We need to look into people's other people's eyes, eye gazing, seeing into people, loving that support and that connection really charges us up. And we are made for connection. And I think our world's become so isolated and we're living behind a screen and that's yeah. really affecting our health. My family, my dad's a pastor and missionary and we go to convalescent homes. Uh, well, before COVID, we would go a lot. Um, it's harder now. But so many of those people are deteriorating in those convalescent homes because they're not touched. Yes, They don't have anyone to talk to and no one to listen to them. And it's like, you can just see their health declining because they're missing one of the vital, vital things that we need to thrive in this world yes. and that is connection um sleep sunlight I didn't go in order so now I'm I didn't count <laughs> sure. I got them all uh, minerals yes. is another one uh, we want to make sure that our minerals are balanced and uh, if we don't have minerals we're not going to have the building blocks for life minerals are the elements in the period periodic table that are the elements for biogenesis for building new cells so if, um, if I missed any, I, I, can't, I can't remember which ones I said, but um, you can go on my Instagram, Tracy Dews, T-R-A-C-Y-D-U-H-S. And um, I, I keep reposting it because I think it's really important for yep. people to see. That was one of the first things I saw on your profile. So it's definitely easy to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just it's so important that, I mean, I, I know it changed my life. Those mm -hmm. nine pillars, once I started living by them, everything in my body changed. It was like, oh my gosh, I feel alive again.